Ooh, we should we should get sponsored by Crest. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Can you send them an email, maybe? Actually, I know someone who might actually know them. But we got to give him a shouty toddy real quick. Uh, no, she doesn't. You don't know that. You know that. I mean, she's delivered their products. We'd like to give a shouty toddy. A shout, a special, special, special shouty toddy to Stephanie and Strong. Strong. So this person sent us an email, and it's our first form of like fan mail, fan like mail? Yeah. directly to our email inbox. Yeah, it was beautiful. And Woke up to it at the morning. She's uh, an Amazon driver, and she listens to us for eight of her 10-hour drives, which first of all, applaud to you, because that's a- How the fuck do you listen to us for that My, my laugh is contagious, but damn, is it annoying sometimes. But uh, she says that she listens until her headphones hurt her ears, but I'm like kind of convinced that it's just me and you. She's like, you know? that was the nicest way to say they're fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, so shouty toddy Stephanie, thank you so much for listening. We really, really do appreciate it. And she was trying to find our Instagram handle and she came and followed us. So really, really appreciate your time, your ear. And oh, uh, that's how we're going to start this episode. So D-Rod, why don't you uh, you roll that intro? Shrek, run it. I'm drum. I'm drummer. We're gonna rewind. Don't get. All right, welcome back, everybody. Week seventy three. Week seventy three, guys. <laughs> three, three <laughs> 42? <laughs> Did you just rhyme 42 for you? 38 plus 4. 39, 40, 40. 42. Plus 5, 47. Fuck. Plus 3. Plus 3, 47. Good gosh. <laughs> Wait, plus 3. I meant 47, 47 plus, plus 3. 50. Plus 5, 55. Plus 5, 60. Plus 10, 70. Plus 3, 73. And, wow. as always, and as always, we wow. are your hosts. I'm Drum. I'm Drummer. And this is a podcast about brotherhood and the three S's, storytelling, the supernatural, and self-improvement. Now Dalton. We're here, motherfuckers. And, uh, we're here for your asses. Uh, hell yeah. Great. That's what welcome we're here for. this environment. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> welcome back, you guys. Uh, Dalton, dude, how is your week going? I've been wanting to talk about something. Okay, what's up, big guy? Okay, so me, Matt, and lovely Mo. We're all looking for places to. Uh, we're lo- we're looking for an apartment or a place to to live currently, and I told them my I have like one or two musts, but one of them is to like have like two bathrooms in the place. So one bathroom will be theirs and one will be mine, right? And I've always, always wanted my own bathroom, only because I want people to realize that I'm not the slob in the bathroom. Matthew is. Also, I want to see, I want to like have my own like face stuff in there and have like my own like toothpaste and like buy my own toiletries for like my, my, for myself. Like that seems crazy. You are in for a rude and awakening. And I think it's so cool how like I, I get to learn and I get to like organize a bathroom for like for myself. Like that seems like so, I don't know why, but it's literally one of the most exciting thoughts in my brain right now. I think about it almost constantly, how to organize a bathroom correctly. And plus like the bathroom we were looking at earlier, I've been thinking about that bathroom and it's like, it would be such like a fun challenge to see how you can organize everything properly. Uh, You know what I mean? The one that the one that you're thinking of is a lot smaller than you think. I know. That's why I'm thinking. That's why I was like, oh, how would I do it? You know what? There's enough spot, like enough. So hold on, let's round this, bring everybody into the loop. This weekend, this Saturday, this past Saturday, uh, Monique and I went and we looked at an apartment uh, that Dalton and Monique and I will be hopefully living at soon. Uh, we seem to really like it. Uh, I know most times it's like, uh, you know, you have to go to a bunch of different ones, but you know, this one seemed to check all the boxes for us. So we're just kind of waiting on a couple things to come through to see, uh, you know, where we're gonna go. But uh, it's cool. It's an older building. All the rooms are big, so the bedrooms in there are bigger than the ones we have here. And I know a big concern for all of us or really me and Dalton was like, is our bed the same size going to fit in there? And then is our desk going to fit in there? Um, and so it's big desk people. Yeah. Very big desk. People love desks. And, uh, so, you know, we went through and everything. And so there's one bathroom that's really large and, you know, 
a good size. Well, it's it's so it's so big. You would think it stops at some point and it just keeps going. It has this really weird like corner. Yeah. Where you can put stuff, but like I don't really know what you would put there. Mo does. You do? Really? Nah, it's, oh, Moni's here, by the way. Money. I apologize. Uh, she's nodding in the back. Hey, Mo Money's in the back. Mo Money, give a give a hey. Just just from there. Just from there. You're good. Hey. There we go. Not as and as uh, so, um, but the, the bathroom that Dalton's referring to, it's like small. The sink and mirrors are like kind of in the corner. Um, and then, but there's enough room right next to the sink and the doorway to where you could probably put something exactly to like put thinking. some stuff on. Yeah. yeah. Smart. Smart. Yeah. Story. So I wasn't able to go on the, the little house tour um <clears throat> but matt and mo did a great job of getting me videos and stuff i had class unfortunately but it's uh it's super dope um waiting on a few things to pull pull through hopefully and then uh maybe we could get our shit going yeah, we'll see, we'll see what um happens. but other than that my week's been good uh i've just been doing my thing you know it was easter it was i had no idea until that saturday when mom brought me an Easter bunny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you like that I got her to come down on the size of the Easter bunnies? Yeah, dude, great idea. Every year, mom gives us these huge, fucking huge, huge bunnies. This huge big. Easter bunnies. Ear, and it's, it's this big, and the ears of the bunny are like this big. And let's be honest, no one fucking eats them. No one eats them. Like, there's not enough time in life to eat That's all not true. that chocolate. There is someone that eats them. There is one man who would take such a, 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 a task, a, a challenge. Yeah. A challenge. Yeah. But was there a time where Easter was like super important to us? Dude, Easter used to be so dope. There was a time where my where uh, our uncle Alex was um, in an Easter bunny costume. Oh, that's how I found out the Easter bunny wasn't real. You too? Uh huh. Wait, when was yours? At church. No, mine wasn't at church. So it was the same bunny costume, but it was when you, Aubrey, he scared the shit and out of me. You, Aubrey, and then I think Taylor. You guys were all in preschool. And uh, it's actually the preschool right across the street from Monique's house, like when you leave. Um, and I remember I parked there because you were guys, you guys were gonna have an Easter egg hunt or whatever. And you weren't gonna have it with us. I wasn't in the school. I was too old. Oh, uh, so I, I was there because uh, I was on summer vacation or something. I can't remember or not. I mean, I guess it would be summer, spring break. <laughs> summer vacation. Spring break. Yeah. Yeah. Spring break. So uh, I remember walking by and I like look inside this van that's open and I don't know why he was parked there because like. You guys were inside the building, but he was basically parked right in front of the building with the sliding door to the green van that was open. And he's literally in the bunny costume with only the head missing. And I do a double take and I see Uncle Alex and Uncle Alex's eyes get all big because he's like, oh, shoot, I just ruined this for Matthew. But I was already like older and I didn't really care about Easter. So I was kind of like, oh, all right. And then I looked at my dad and my dad's like, be quiet. Let's go. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Easter was interesting, man. It was, it's a holiday that, yeah, it's fun to celebrate um yeah like the purpose behind it is great i get it but at the same time like it's just like another halloween you know you just get a lot of candy like you go into all the only thing that i would say was different with easter than halloween was easter you would get like there'd be like a few um eggs with money in them i never found them never found them neither did i but I knew they were there because Aubrey would always get them. Now I'm starting to think that maybe Aubrey was cheating. Mm-hmm. Aubrey probably saved up year round and just put money in the in an egg that she already has. She took candy off of money and she's like, "Look, Dalton, Aubrey, I can I can see you doing yeah, that. Yeah, I could totally I see, see you doing, doing that. that. There was there was one year when I was like super tiny. We actually have we might There's have video, video of it. There we might have video evidence of this. Where oh, uh, give a shouty touty because shouty touty to uh, Ob Dog, uh, Aubrey Rosa, shy sh- yeah. Uh, there was a year where one Aubrey throws the biggest tantrums and she threw the best tantrum they on were this like, video for they Easter. They were something else, bro. She, like she would get so mad. <laughs> she'd sit there and just fucking shake. Like, think about a car t- trying to start. Like you know? you know how like like Kratos when he gets mad and got a war Quiet and he just goes boy. like insane? Like that was Aubrey. But imagine in a cute little like, you know, two-year-old angel body yeah yeah she was a cutie she was a cutie but god did she she was like <gasps> she was mean and so yeah. <laughs> she, she had one of the best tantrums i've ever seen on camera we caught it also on camera. we started the easter egg hunt right so we got like taylor running around like she she did she was always like very angry we had like little <laughs> kennedy uh she was crying uh i think we had jordan running around somewhere she didn't really she didn't really or maybe she was like sitting next she's to she's probably with me and lexi yeah she's probably with you and lex but it was like usually me, Taylor, and Ob. So, uh, you know, uh, Taylor would go around doing her thing, very mad. 
and I would walk around. I follow Aubrey because we were kind of like inseparable at the time. So Aubrey would get the Easter Easter eggs, and she'd be. And I just follow her. She knew where everything was, so she would put them all in her basket. And like you know, when you're tiny, your arms aren't that big. Like the you have a big ass basket, she's gonna hang on the side. So it would roll back, and I just follow her. And I'm like, why would I put my life at risk to bend over and pick up all these Easter eggs when she's bringing them to me every time? Every time. Okay, so, I, what? Go for it. Go for it. Finish. So what I did, being the smart genius that I was at like four, three years old, is I followed her and I took each Easter egg and put it in my basket. And like Aubrey kept looking back and getting more and more mad because she kept not having any Easter eggs in her basket. And so it's literally the whole video is just me following her doing that. And then finally my aunt came and was like, guys, <laughs> like Dalton, you can't be stealing your cousin's Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to point something out, right? The picture that Dalton just painted, it, 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 it seems like. This was a hard Easter egg hunt. And that Dalton, <laughs> Aubrey, Aubrey knew where all these eggs were. She knew because she looked down and the eggs were all over they the They were in the, the bushes. Okay. I was going to put my hands in some bushes. Bro, <laughs> they were literally all over the grass. Like, it was not difficult. There'd be a couple that were like in a tree or something. They were in the dirt. So, anyways, but yes, Dalton was always lived by the work smarter, not harder mentality, which I appreciate. But. Do holidays seem less important now that we have gone through this pandemic and we're like in quarantine? Like, Hol- I feel like I get less excited for them. Holidays seems completely less important, yeah, than it ever has, and not not because of the pandemic. Even before that, the only thing that I really love is Christmas, as everyone knows. But any other holiday, I kind of don't even think about, um, except when like the school I work with is is off. Because I feel or, like I feel like when you're you're growing up, like holidays have this meaning of like. You're gonna get time off of school. Uh, your uh, your family comes There's home. There's rewards. There's you know, rewards like, for it. Like Thanksgiving and Christmas tend to be the the two holidays where like people make that trip back home. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like cool if you have cousins that live out of state or live all over the place. Like everybody comes together, but you don't really see too many people doing that. You know, for Halloween or Easter or you know Fourth of July maybe even Easter it depends on the family, but. Uh, it seems like Christmas and Thanksgiving, it's like, and it's such a short time span where it's like, you get to be around those people for a while, you know, or, and then when you say bye, it's like three weeks and then I'll see you again, you know? Yeah. Uh, Which is always kind of cool. I love, I always love that. That's, I think that's the biggest aspect for us is like our family time was really like coordinated in those two holidays. Um, Easter died out when we got older, unfortunately, um, just couldn't, they didn't want to do it anymore. We didn't do Easter egg hunts. So um but things are going to come back up pretty soon because we got you know some babies on the way and we got uh brooksy so we're gonna give brooksy some really good easters hopefully yeah so next year he'll be able to kind of waddle so (laughs) that that boy's gonna be so rich and he's not gonna even understand what money means yeah yeah i'm just gonna give him i'm put hundreds in in the easter eggs just and if he opens it awesome dude it's paying out yeah so uh (laughs) so we give a shouty toddy to stephanie ann strong earlier today and uh, but that's not the only fan mail that we got. We actually got a question submitted, uh, in our fan mail. I, also I don't know if this is like the best idea to put on a podcast. Uh, I mean, I know I can't, so that's why I'm going to ask it. Um, can you burp on command? Yes. And who's better at burping? So it's obviously uh, you. Nice. How? I've never understood this. Like, you know, remember how Shane Revis used to do his ABCs? Like, by the way, guys, the that's the only time we're going to do that. I'm sorry. On the spot. I, I've never been able to do it. Yeah, but how'd you do that? I yeah. just push it on my throat. See, if I push it on my throat, I'm going to throw up. Just don't do it. Just don't throw up. G- that's not like possible. Act like, like get to the point you're going to throw up and then bring it back down and then blow it out. Like the point morning. of no return is very like early for me. And sometimes it gets to a point like bef- when I first... <laughs> oh, you okay? <laughs> Did it surprise hey. you? <laughs> <laughs> She's all, preach. <laughs> <laughs> Can Mo burp on command? No. She left out some gnarly ones, though. Burp on command? Yeah. No. No? She burps by accident. You can't, David, either? No. You never, like, I, had, I feel like David would, would only to, like, tease his sisters. What? Listen to this. There's only three things that I learned in my childhood that I keep till now. It's the burp that my buddy taught me back when I was in the fourth grade. It's it's uh, the stop using my tongue or anything. Just kind of doing that's I learned from my friend uh, Kristen Kirsten. Um, Is that where that came from? You just started doing that randomly. You do it a lot. She taught me that. That's all I did in English class. That's what she was teaching me in English class. 
<laughs> back when I was like a, a junior in high school. Um, and uh, the other one, fuck, I was gonna say it. What's the other one? Fart. Huh? Fart. No, I can't fart on demand, unfortunately. Um, it's the burp. It's the and then it's the uh, oh, fuck. What the fuck is it? God. <laughs> It's going to come to me in the worst possible time, and I'm going to shout it out. I'm sorry, guys. I only learned how to do a bird call, and I can't even do that that well. Yeah, well you both you... can whistle, right? Fuck you, David. <laughs> Fuck you. So that's not the third thing. You know I can't fucking... I just sound like wind. Oh, I know what the third one is. The new monthly challenge. David, you need to read your last haiku. I'm sorry we didn't get to it last week, you guys. Uh, so, do you have it? You don't have it, do you? David. You didn't do All right. it? Oh, hold on. Now David has to make this one up. This is the easiest one. Are we 0 for 4? We're 0 for 4. Uh, make one up. No, I tried that the very first time I offered haiku as a challenge, and you guys shit on me so hard. Oh, when you made it up the first one? Yeah. yeah it was pretty bad. It was exactly. pretty bad. Absolutely bad. terrible. Do you, have, do you have the last one that you wrote? Doesn't it have to be about No, it's in my bees? notebook. Uh, okay. We're going to post funny. But we need a new <sighs> monthly challenge. I'll post it two days ago. Okay. From, okay. from when okay. you're listening to this right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. And if it's not there, uh, send us an email and just roast David. Oh, lots of bunnies doing Terror Tuesdays. He's playing a scary game. Nice. 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 Hey, speaking of streams... No, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. We got yeah, to do it at the end. At the end. That way people remember. We got the monthly challenge, and so we need two options, and uh, and, and Monique's going to pick them for us right now. Yeah, because we, you know what? We don't have time. I mean, not pick. Make them up. Make them up on the spot? Make them up on the spot. Vegetarian one month. Oh, fuck that. Okay, that's one. I, 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 so you're doing it? No, you are. Absolutely not. Why? I You're cannot. cutting anyway. That doesn't mean I don't want meat in my mouth. <laughs> Just drink <laughs> pea protein. No. <sighs> no, I'm sorry, Mo. We got to pick something else. Have you That's seen Seth? That's such a good one, though. It's a great one. It's a great one, and I love your ideas. But right now, it just doesn't work for me. Carnivore diet. <laughs> what if you only ate meat on the weekends? No, that's not. No. Okay. Why are you mad about that? Because if you're going to do it, we're going all in. Okay. We need one. Sorry, Mo, you have to deal with that. We need to complete a monthly challenge, you guys. (laughs) We need to go be a monthly challenge. We can always take a scooter. (laughs) (laughs) I'll have the fucking bummiest shins in the world. Yes. Commando one month. (laughs) Go commando for a month. That's a good one. I work with kids. And you Imagine work out you at pants. a gym a lot. Yeah. Things like oh, that happen. Oh, the gym? Just flopping all over the place? Well, Double uh, unders? <laughs> Double oh, unders? yeah. That'd be gross. Yeah. That'd be gross. Like, you go down and someone looks up and they just see your balls. Yeah. yeah. I got it. Shave for one month everything. That's a great one. I have sensitive facial skin. Not your Armpit. face. Armpits, legs, arms, head. <sighs> You choose. You keep it shaved? The whole, the whole wait, month. The whole body or just those parts? You've got, hey, you've got a brand new free uh, razor trimmer. No, they didn't give us a razor. They gave us a you've trimmer. got a brand new trimmer that we can use for this entire monthly challenge. Okay. That or cold showers for a month? No, lame. How no, would let's, anyone, let's how would the, anyone track that? How would any, <laughs> we haven't been tracking anything. It's based off of merit. <laughs> this is a real Boy Scouts podcast. Let's do the hair one. What's the hair one? Where you shave for a month. <laughs> what do you want me to shave? Everything. Your armpits. That takes way too much work. Okay, you do. And you, I respect women for it, but no, no. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> you shave what? Once every two weeks, your whole body? But then you shave. No, you shave once like every four or five days if you're trying to be on top of it. Right, You're Mo? the one that said you didn't want to go hard into it. Mo, how often do you shave your whole body? Not often, honestly. I'll shave my armpits every day, but since I've been doing laser hair removal, I don't really <laughs> need to do it all the time. Like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't need to do it all the time anymore. Um, no, I think the challenge should be 
it's something along the lines where you have to make sure there's no hair on your legs the entire month. That's that. So that's like once you every wear pants. two days. Yeah, but also I know that when you shave your your legs, like it comes out, comes back pretty thick. No, it's so. I'll be honest, like I don't I don't like my hair now. Okay, your armpits. <sighs> we'll do pit checks every day. Yeah. I can do my armpits. All right. All right. Is that a good one? That's a good one. Monthly challenge. You're Dalton. gonna use your manscaped lawnmower 3.0 to trim those armpit mm-hmm. hairs. And you got the deodor, the the ball chafe that you can put on your armpits. We're gonna call this the manscaped challenge. Yeah. There the you go. Okay. Challenge. There you insert go. ad here. Integration. Mm-hmm. Hashtag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Monthly challenge is done. Well, thank you, my money, for your observational You're requests. So welcome. I think the next challenge should oh, be bro. Drum and Drummer comes to do laser hair removal. Matthew, Ugh. just drum. Drum comes to do laser hair removal. Where? Where? I don't know. Can I get them to line up my beard because I hate that it grows up here like a werewolf? Yeah. Yeah, you can laser anything off. Yeah? Yeah. I can do that? Yeah. That's your challenge? All right, great. Next month's challenge already resolved. We'll see. We'll We're ready for it. the next two think months, guys. Isn't that amazing? So Dalton, you know who Bad Bar- Bad Baby is. Matt, David wants to call him, right? Call her Bad Barbie for some wrong. reason. I, I don't understand why. You know who it is, right? Of course. Matt, do you know who that is? I do. After you guys explained it to me, I forgot about. Can that. Can you remember her like the picture of her from Doctor Phil? Yeah, uh, skinny white girl, red hair. Yeah, says, catch, catch me outside. outside. How about that? Yeah. yeah. So she became a rapper. Oh, uh, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. No, she was on. She's not that bad. I'll be honest. She's not that bad. She just turned 18. Nice. And then once she turned 18, she joined OnlyFans. She looks like she's 23. And within six hours, she made a million dollars. Sounds about right. Sounds oh, yeah. about right. Good for her. Matt, can I just ask a question? What's up? How much money do you think you could make personally if it's just you on OnlyFans? And what would you post? Just give me, give me, give me an idea of what you think people would want out of you being on OnlyFans. Uh, what I think people would want out of me. What What would you give them? What What What's What's you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Male lingerie, baby. Male lingerie. Male lingerie. You know, I've like heard... the like when like your socks you wear for like four weeks at a time and you never change them and they get all dirty and smelly. You don't know you that. Do that. People, we, girls, do that. Oh, have you ever seen Orange Is the New Black? Oh yeah. Is yeah. that what they do? Women, no, they sell uh, their they sell underwear, right? Their underwear, yeah. yeah. Used underwear. I've seen, I've seen girls. <laughs> I haven't seen them, but I know of. You've never seen girls? <laughs> no, I have. But I, I, the, there's, uh, there's girls that, um, oh, the, show. the girls that would come into uh, uh, the store, my store, at some point, and they would talk about things they're selling, and they would tell me, like, this girl walked in, she's, she's like, yeah, I have like three sets uh, or three different um, thongs inside my pussy right now and i'm like okay why <laughs> and like she told me like she's like oh no i stuffed them and so she pulled out a video showed me her stuffing her pussy with these with the with like the i don't know why i can't fucking think thongs right now and so she's stuffing herself with thongs and she sells each song for a thousand dollars what to to her followers and I think I think this is the only reason that Bad Baby made a, a million dollars is she already had a following. Like I think if I were to go to OnlyFans, oh, yeah. I think I would make money, but I don't think I would make yeah five dollars, a thousand. I'm sorry, a million Mobile dollars. Um, like with a the following, there comes so much leverage. You know, you already have the attention, and like you hear it often that attention is the currency of the of this century. Mm-hmm. And so with that, you can she can basically do almost anything, and I guarantee you, it'll she'll make money with it. Like what was the um. That one, that there was that one girl from um, Teen Teen Mom, who oh yeah, she she uh, for 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 forever for for it for Ferrari, Ferrari, something like that. Uh, but she like has a following, and she ended up um, she would literally make a wish list. Like she had like her own like wish list, and guys would go on there and just buy stuff for her because. Yeah, because far. they they have this idea that like if they buy stuff for her, maybe she'll like give them attention or something, right? Even though that was never going to happen, at least I don't think it did. Isn't it kind of a thing now? Like a lot of girls just put like their Cash App or their Venmo in their bio now. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that you the support. I I think the support. idea of like 
you know, the fact that there might be a chance people are willing to invest in that. And especially if you make a lot of money and money's not really an issue for you. Uh, but I think that's the only reason like bad baby made like a million and six. Yeah. Hours. Yet, yeah. Definitely. Have to have that fall. Also, that's so much fucking money in six hours. I, I don't know. Did you have something you wanted to say about it? I don't know. I just find <laughs> it weird that like celebrities are using a non celebrity platform to make money. Like only fans was created for the, it was created for the average Joe to use. And now all these celebrities have an OnlyFans now and they're capitalizing off of an app that was made for like easy access. Well, it's no different than Instagram. No, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Instagram was made for artists. Mm -hmm. You didn't use your own name when you started Instagram. Monique's the first person that told me about it. And then now it's been infiltrated to, you know, I don't want to say infiltrated, but like it's pretty much run by, you know, people that have become famous off it. Celebrities from other platforms are transferring over. You see the same thing on TikTok. You know, it's SoundCloud. It's just, it, it happens everywhere, you know? Mo, and you have the best radio voice. I do. It's so smooth. What about the fact it's, that... It's crazy. She turned 18, and that's what let her join OnlyFans. And within, I guess, six hours of turning 18, she made a million dollars, which broke well, the record. She's not bad looking. You know what I mean? Do we know the target audience of the people who paid money? No. You, no. I'm sure There's if you no if tell. you had a OnlyFans, like you can see the analytics of it mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. I'm sure a lot of them are older men. That's what's really nasty to me is that it's like so predatory. <sighs> Showbiz, baby. It's disgusting. Yeah. Ugh. OnlyFans. Okay. Only old men's. <laughs> Only for old men. Only old men's. Well, she's someone that like was on TV and. Then had a further life beyond that, creating, I don't know, maybe it started by her being herself and then people responded to that, to that. And then she created this character based on that and, and, and went that way. But it kind of, I was watching this video and it was about Nathan for you. Cause they were trying, oh. <laughs> it's a, you know, you want to explain yeah. kind of what that show is about. So Nathan for you is a, um, it's a show about this individual named Nathan who went to a college out in Canada and got really good college grades. And it shows his report card. And he got like B's and C's. And basically, he goes to these small businesses and he brings them marketing ideas. And they're actually brilliant. Like, if, like the idea, if performed properly, is really, really smart. The problem is, is that he is on Comedy Central. And so he takes these ideas to the extreme. So he takes him to the extreme to the point where it just is kind of funny to see people's reactions to it. So like one of the first ones is like, uh, and he's actually been on the news a couple times. So one that got him on the news was he used a, uh, a, there's an episode where he creates fake Starbucks, dumb Starbucks, dumb Starbucks, it's a parody. Yes. And, but in order to, uh, be known as a parody guy, he had to go do stand up comedy shows. So he went to comedy nights for like every single day for a week to build the reputation of himself as being a comedian. And his stand up is fucking terrible. Right. So <laughs> thousand percent, I would do this 1000%. So then what he did was he rented out an art exhibit and straight up built a coffee shop as an art exhibit. Right. And then he put dumb Starbucks and it was all over the place and the news came and all this stuff like it was all like just very very televised um that's great but yeah so that's what that shows about it's stuff like that but his character on it is someone who's like super socially awkward and doesn't know how to interact with people and like that's part of the comedy and uh, the video was trying to like find the reason of like how much of that was a character he was putting on versus like how much of it was him the same way kind of Gordon Ramsay has created this character that he uses on like some of his shows. That's like very over the top and like angry and stuff like that. And then it went into like the real world and it talked about how, uh, reality shows and social media have kind of like blurred that line between people needing to be in performance rule roles and like, the idea that on camera, off camera doesn't really matter if a camera's there or not because it just, it's now infected everyday life, especially with social media and the fact that people post everything about everything. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And so I just, it was a very interesting topic and wanted to get your thoughts on it. I mean, I, I feel like that even with the podcast. Like, I feel like you and I are pretty much ourselves. But yeah, I'm I, lost. What are we talking about? So do you think that reality TV and social media blurs the lines between reality and what we want people to see? Which is kind of true. Like, that's kind of what it's for, right? Reality TV isn't necessarily about actual reality. It's about, like, what we think reality should be right and it's kind of like an inside look and i i mean even for this like i don't talk with this much enthusiasm you know 80 percent of the time i'm awake like you know like you guys know me i i am like this a lot of the time but i'm also you know when the camera comes on we do give a little more you know pizzazz more pep in our step yeah but i don't think that's necessary it's not it's something that everybody like subconsciously knows but when it's in front of us we tend to forget it you know what bothers me when you have like TikTok dancers, they do the dance and they look at the camera and they like do like, a <laughs> they do like a laugh at the end. Like why? What was funny about what you just did <laughs> that you had a laugh after who's behind the camera that just made you giggle? Cause if you're focused on doing this dance and you're just going to look at him and go, what's so funny? What is it? Isn't it? Cause they're embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? You do this. You put on a platform where millions are going to see you. Why the fuck does it matter? And wh- I just don't understand the laughter behind it. Every time I see it, it like I don't like it. I don't give them a like. They could do they could do amazing dances, but at the end, if they're like doing something with their friend, they're doing a dance, they're doing it all serious, right? Like they're doing that, and then Matthew's like done, and he finishes dance. I finish dance, and I look at him, and I go. <laughs> but when. Doesn't that speak to the whole idea? Like Matt said, it's an inside look. Like that's, it's fake. If the, if the dance is the performance, that laugh is it's like fakeness. The behind the no, scenes, behind the scenes. That's the, like because it's like, oh, that's she's like a normal person. She laughs because she's embarrassed, like a normal person. But the dance is what makes it like above level and above average, and like. I guess there's a sense of that, but at the same time, but also you could be like you, you could be tell. right that it's a fake laugh, you like can, it's a manufactured behind the scenes look. Like I like it's like saying like when somebody does a dance and they look at the camera and they go or they do like a like that stuff like that's okay. Like you're, you're you're showing that you realize the camera's there, you did it for a reason, right? But then when like you do when you do like a dance and there'll be girls that do the dance but like don't look at the camera, like they act like it's not there. And it's like you set it up. You set up the camera, you looked away, you did it, then you looked back and you're like, <laughs> like you got caught being watched to dance. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, that shit drives me insane. Um, so, yeah, I would say, you know, <laughs> social media. Yeah, that shit's fake uh, as fuck. I have a hard time with social media for that reason. I have a hard time following topics or following, um, I said topics, you highlighted something on there, but I have a hard time like following certain people. <laughs> Just for that reason of it's like it none, none of this seems real and nothing seems genuine. And so like th- that's definitely some of the reasons why like I don't really go on Instagram or Twitter anymore because it's just that that genuine part of a human being isn't there anymore. You know, a lot of it's just so fake because people want them to think a certain thing. Can can we talk about Detroit? Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, this is a game that came out a very long time ago. How long ago was it? I want to say 2018, 2019. Oh, that long? And it looks like that? Damn. Okay. Um, so for my birthday, uh, David and Monique and uh, the Rodriguez's and Carly and Dalton and my parents all threw money in together to get me. Caleb and Aubrey. Caleb and Aubrey. Everybody uh, threw some money in. And uh, they got me a PlayStation 5 for my birthday. Uh, so I was super. Woo! Yeah. 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 Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Uh, super surprised. I, I wasn't really expecting that. I'm a hard person to shop for because I either no. a buy what I want or b like I don't mm. like to ask people for things. Um, what? Nothing. Go ahead. But uh, anyway, so when uh, David and came over before we recorded this, I was playing this game or it just finished downloading. So we played this game called Detroit, and it's uh, essentially it is the world where humans and AI are together. So the opening scene, and this is what me, Dalton, and David all sat down and we watched, it is this robot that looks very human-like staring into the camera. And I love when games do this, but it also makes me very uncomfortable where they break the fourth wall. It was very uncomfortable. Yeah. No, because she was like, first of all, PS5 makes everything 10 times better. 
Um, so even if the graphics were good on the PS4, it's it's still it, everything it was, still improves. Yeah, it all still improves. So so then what I mean by breaking the fourth wall because it took me a little while to understand it too is what I mean by that is when somebody or a character in the game addresses you, the video game player, uh-huh. in your reality. Right, you feel so, you feel like uh, you're you feel violated. Yeah, yeah, you feel like you're not safe. And so basically, the way this game starts is she's like, um, "Go ahead and since you've turned on your console or something like that." Like they address me as oh, that. no, they go, they go. This is the settings on your console. Make sure they're right. Yeah, and then all these settings pop up, and you're like, and what like first the of all, hell? it's it's an AI talking to you, so there's no emotion. It's it's, it's like check your console, make yeah. sure these are right, and it's like they're talking to you like a human. Yeah, and, and if fucking freaky so then if like uh so then the the opening scene of the game i mean if they can't just start it any other way it's a you're an ai or what they're calling an android right so a robot you are a detective or a uh, suicide negotiator and you walk into this apartment and there's gunshots there's a fish tank that's on the floor that or that's broken and a fish is on the floor uh you didn't put the which fish I accidentally the fish i would tank. have but i didn't really understand the controls he killed so the fish. you have to go and gather this information before you go out and then there's another ai or android that is like holding this child over a ledge because it like finally broke because it, it's feeling emotions which isn't supposed to be in its software it's not supposed to happen so you're supposed to gather information without to in order to like get the best outcome of the situation now, hold so on. my bold ass <laughs> hold on hold on i have a problem and they've both gotten better matt and mo but they still <laughs> tend to rush things and that is my biggest problem with how they Bro, play I, video games I, I, uh, I, no, no no it's not uh, even for me i'm not even defending me here well, don't defend mo either we can talk about but this. bro i've watched her do all the side missions like okay. i've seen it hold on i like i said she's gotten better can i can you let me finish my sentence matthew drum thank you better yeah, not not Bro, the best, again. Mo. We still got things to work on. Again, that's The Witcher. At that point, Mo, you were in the ocean for three weeks straight. You needed just to get the fuck out of there. No, what one, do you want? No one's gonna do the ocean. No one thinks to do the ocean side missions. See, this is my problem. No, th- my problem not is side that, missions. Matthew. Is that like he's like Matt? Play the game. Like games are meant to be played exactly how you want them. Like it's a user experience for per individual. Matthew. And then I do what I want, and he goes, Matt, you're not playing the game right. Like. Pick a fucking side and stay there. Moe's Mo's idea of the side mission in The Witcher was going through every treasure chest, opening them, not wanting any of it, and just letting it go <laughs> in the ocean. It's but not, did you guys not tell me to take my time playing that game? No, no, and you did, Mo. You really did. But then you took too much time. Right. There's an even. There's like a. There's a. There's a level there. Check me. Right. But you know, also it's The Witcher. It's The Witcher. Anyway. So Matthew goes in this game, and he's choosing all these things, right? Choose how to do this, how to do this. He sees, and it lets you know how much progress you've made in learning about this character. <laughs> and it gets to 50%. And I see Matt stop, go to the window, go, oh, wait, one more thing. Turns around, goes to where this guy's stabbed and thrown on a coffee table, looks at him, does a few examinations, boom, 53%. He's not even over half. Like he's still, he has so much more to learn about the people that he's going against. He has learned about how people died, but not about the character who is holding the person hostage, right? And that's what you need to learn if you're trying to like do like talk him out of before he kills somebody. So Matthew walks out there. Go ahead. I said fifty three percent. I'll be all right. So I walk out there immediately. Open my mouth. I click one button. It goes fifty three percent to thirty five percent. I'm like, oh fuck. Like, Scale go all the way down. Right? We're like, oh. So no. then I, I'm picking my options, and I'm slowly building trust with his AI. Right. The only option I didn't pick on my own is the one that Dalton told me to pick. Immediately drops back below forty percent. I'm like, fuck. So I pick another couple ones, and I get to seventy one percent. Save the little girl. Everything's cool. Um, but it makes me think. Is everything that cool? I don't know. I haven't played you the game murdered anymore. Murdered yourself. Oh uh, well, I don't want to give that away. I mean, it's the opening. You're never gonna play yeah, that so, guy again. So uh, yeah. So basically, I eat the the other AI decides that they're just gonna jump off the the building, and so then I run up because I read the emotions. I grab the child, save the child, and sacrifice myself. A child. Um, and but it, it led me to think like. Uh, one of the next scenes is an AI walking through, and all these humans come up because it's taking their jobs. You know. And I just don't, it's not that I don't think that that's possible or that it's going to happen. I do think that it will. But I also think that there's always going to be jobs for humans. I think that like that human connection connection and interactions that we have can't be replicated no matter how good AI gets. As a salesman, yes. 
but as like you know somebody who's doing like you know factory work or something like that's very capable of ai doing that and AI, and robots are already taking that over as we speak you know what i mean well even the uh ai is trying to infiltrate copywriting like um i'm paying for a service right now where it's supposed to help you create content faster and stuff like that but there's still errors all over the place whenever you use it so there yeah. still needs to be a human on the other side of that you know but this leads this, my question is is like in that scenario it's ai to ai trying to negotiate to talk down the other ai do you think it could ever be ai to human and let's take that same scenario do you think that it would ever you know get to that point or is there a line as far as human connection plays to where no amount of robot could really ever like bridge that gap i think there's so many faults in humanity as like people as like human beings like we all have so many faults we all have so many emotions and there's so many reasons why we could fuck up and not be successful in this world um i think for an ai they know all the wrongs they know all the things that we shouldn't do so why would we do them because as humans like like yeah drugs are bad but a lot of people do them you know what i mean like it's just one of those things like like people you know get duis but they still they, like they were driving they knew they were drunk but they still drove like we, like humans make very stupid mistakes so i think at some point ais are going to be like okay well obviously we're the we're, we're in the right they're in the wrong for just being here, just living. So there's a very strong line where it's going to be a turnaround and it's going to be the AIs take over, the androids take over, and the humans, you know, go downhill because they'll either kill us all or something like that, yeah. you know. But th this 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 game is super interesting because it really shows you how to understand the side of an AI and how to understand like what people are going through at that time. And it's super is super different of a video game as well. Yeah, that's cool. I really enjoyed the first couple of missions that I did. So. But it bothers me. It's definitely one of those games where you have so much opportunity. Yeah, so after you complete a mission, it gives you this like flow chart and it shows you all the possible outcomes. And if and it the didn't show you that, you that'd be great. Yeah, but it shows you all of the installs. Like, God damn it. I'm going to have to play every single one. So we'll see. But. Well, let's uh, contemplate our existence with AI while we take a break. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Support for Drummer Drummer is brought to you by Manscaped. Who's the best in man's below the waist grooming? Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. They obsess over their technology developments to provide you the best tools for your grooming experience. Manscaped is trusted by 2 million men worldwide. We have an exclusive offer for our listeners 20% off plus free shipping with code DRUM, D R U M M at manscaped.com. <sighs> Hello, ladies. Are you looking for the perfect gift for your man? The Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0 also includes the Crop Preserver. It's an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. You already put the deodorant on your armpits. Why are you not putting deodorant on the smelliest part of your body? And yes, your, your balls, balls stink. Fucking stink. Get 20% off, <laughs> <and free> <laughs> <sh> <laughs> Get 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUM. <laughs> <laughs> At manscaped.com. D R U double M. Thank you. Get 20% off and free shipping with code DRUM. D R U double M at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code DRUM. D R U double M. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Manscaped. And we're back. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we did that. <laughs> Slang trivia with Matt Drum. Hi, I'm Matt Drum. It's time to pull out that slang, Matt. You ready? I'm I'm ready, big guy. Oh, here, wait. You it's got to... a theme song, doesn't it? Does it? We have so many theme songs, I don't remember. Wait, hold on. Can someone give me a uh, Mo? Do you know what our slang thing is? Oh, do you listen to the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I listen to the podcast. I don't remember the theme song. Oh, oh shit. Oh, just no. Let David. Oh, thank God. Thank you, David. I was pressing buttons, and I shouldn't have. Um, okay. Uh, Wait, but Dave, you have to introduce what we do in Slang Trivia. In Slang Trivia, we do some trivia with Matt that's all about the different you, types you of slang. Me. You did me. I know. And I, I, I saw myself get butthurt on camera, and I was like, I'm never doing that again. 
<laughs> when when you guys brought up like how I how oh, I respond uh, to things, and you're you're completely right. I just didn't like the truth. Um, all right, I'm lost. When we tell Dalton to talk about one of the subjects that's on the on the doc, and then he just reads what exactly oh, what's yeah, written yeah, 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 yeah. there. Yeah, no, I, th- I think we've all done that once. Or you twice. are not wrong, but uh, I I I gotta stop doing that anyways. All right, you ready? Let's do it. This is slang trivia with Matt Drum. Theme song. I realize that. Oh, okay, thank God. Um, I'm Matt Drum. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. I'm Matt Drum. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, we're gonna get started now. And Mo- <laughs> with slang trivia, <laughs> Monique is Monique is is also ready for like tag team. Tag team. Like, oh, oh, we're, we're this this together. Is a, this is the tag team edition. Sla- slang trivia with only Matt only Mo. because Matthew's birthday is going to be tomorrow. We're gonna let Mo two days ago. Two days ago. Well, two days ago from when you listen to this, and midnight then in a couple hours from right now. Honestly, she does. Have also, a- I'd like to point out, I pounded half a cheesecake before this episode. Oh, you ate that? I did. Oh, good. Yeah. So good. Mitchell's going to be proud. Go for it. Okay. You guys ready? Let's do Here it. Here we go. I'm Back- scared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Backseat bingo. You got definition, use it in a sentence, and the decade of origin. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, can I just okay? I'm going to start with definition. So backseat bingo is when you're hooking up with someone in the back seat, and then you're trying to get their bra off. So it's like you're playing bingo, you're hoping you get concept. the right combination, you know. And then okay. when you finally get off, you go bingo. All right, Mo. What do you got? Boobs. What do you think it is? Absolutely not. What do you think it is? <laughs> I think it has something to do with backseat driving, and the person's just talking nonsense. That they're just kind of throwing random things out there and hopefully getting something right. That is also a very good one. That is a good one. That's I like that one way better. Where do you guys mine. think this is from? What what time period? Indiana. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana. I feel like it might be from there. I would have picked Wisconsin, but that's just me. Uh, time era. I say like the the forties, the seventies. Okay, and then if you, uh, well, we'll just do those two. Okay. Wait, Go can on. can you put it in a sentence? That's what I like. To okay. Do. Put in a sentence. You or Mo? Doesn't matter. Damn, baby, I keep getting those eyes. I'm ready to get those bees. <laughs> what? You didn't even okay, use the term. Next. You didn't even next. Use the term. I don't even know what that means. Like, you, I you, use know, that as you keep getting eyes, so they're like, you know. Where's the term backseat bingo? <laughs> you didn't even use the term. I didn't. I didn't use the term in, in the Monique, sentence. Which I, I would realized. say like, oh, Matt's being so annoying. He just is, keeps <laughs> backseat bingoing me. Doing backseat <laughs> bingo. Damn, baby, you got me back here playing backseat bingo. <laughs> just help me out. <laughs> All right, backseat bingo. So which which one was closer? Uh, I would say Matthews was closer. What? Yeah, uh, the backseat of the car. Where people would make out. This was the time period of the fifties. Oh, okay. I was so close. you went deeper than you needed to. Always. Always. What does that have to do with the bingo? Ask the fifties. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're playing games. Maybe that was like the game of the time. Oh, that, like, that's a good. That's a good definition. Actually. Like they're in their twenties. They're, they're like, oh game? my god, let's go play some bingo, and then we can have some backseat bingo. You know what I really want to do? Not not backseat bingo, but just bingo. So Bob Bagnell's okay. wife, she really wants to get like all of us together, and then she wants to get us the this like like Letterman jackets, and yeah. on the back she wants it to say, uh, "What are the what are the things called?" Oh, the the torches. No dabs, dabbers. That's what they're called. I think dabs so. She, she basically thing. whatever that that the stamper is, right? She wants to get that like, hammer. No, she wants to get that like on the back of a Letterman, and she wants all of us to wear it, and then to walk in to go play bingo. I'm down. A gavel? No, it, it, I think it's. I literally think it's called the dabber. All right. So next, she wants to be the dabber. Why are you not down for that? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Ask Ask Naya next time we see her. She'll explain it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. What's um, a dabber? It's the marker you mark okay, your never bingo mind. card with. I thought it was a nickname that she had for you. No, no, no. It's like based off of like the actual tool that you do bingo with. A marker. <laughs> no, it's no, a, it's no. just a, yeah, it's a marker. We're gonna, exactly we're talking. We're about. Not to, we're not to call Nia after this and get to the bottom of it. Okay, cold lampin. Cold lampin. Cold lampin. Sounds like you should say it with an accent. Cold, cold lampin. lampin. No, more like Scottish Let's or hear something. It. Let's hear it. No. 
The good lamp. That's. <laughs> good dog. <laughs> the good lamp. Wait, let me ask you a question. Gold lamping. Cold. Cold. Lamping. <laughs> lamping. <laughs> she didn't just. She just didn't understand you. No, it didn't understand me at all. Uh, cold lamping. That's what you. What happens when you say that? Like uh, back in the day, lamps were like there was a flame. So then when it would go out, it'd be a cold lamp. Cold lamping. Mo, well, what's yours? So so cold lamping is the term for when a lamp is cold. not lit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The lamp is yes, literally yes, yes, cold. Yes. This is slang trivia. <laughs> Sometimes slang not makes realistic sense, trivia. baby. Okay. All right. Well, and what, what time period was this for you, Matt? I'm going to go 20s. All right. You 1920s? go. 1920s? Yeah. I'm going to say the 70s again. Uh-huh. Cold lamping. Not lamping. 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 With an apostrophe at the end. (laughs) (laughs) I think this has to do with one of two things. Either the penis or like a joint. Okay. Wow. All right. Oh, okay. okay. A joint goes out. Like lamping, like either literally or figuratively. Okay. Please use this in a sentence. Like. Oh, he's like lame, cold lamping. Like either he's he killed the vibe or he literally put the joint out. That's really good. That's, That's a good, a I like really that one. one. <clears throat> can Let's, I can I take that one? Use a sentence. All right, so yeah, she used it in a sentence. Your turn. Oh no, honey, we got a cold lamping. Looks like we're gonna freeze tonight. <laughs> yeah, you, you agree with hers, then use your shitty term. <laughs> yeah, but I had to because that's what I said. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? So cold lamping, cold lamping. Low chilling, not doing anything. 90s. Is laying low. Huh. By oh. Publice Enemy. All right. Public Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song by Public Enemy, and you read exactly what I wrote. <laughs> Publice, <laughs> Publice Enemy. I was like, that must be a saying out of the 90s Wait, that David wanted on, me to say out loud. Did you like hyphenate it or something? No, it just no. says Publice. I put public, but I accidentally put an E at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so so who won Slang that trivia, one who won that one, who won that one dalton uh i would i would give it i would give it more to mo yeah because it's definitely not in the 20s and it's yeah. definitely not about lamps not lighting yeah <laughs> it's just that's a stupidest but, but it thing has you've like, ever said. like the kill and the vibe although i have a problem because she gave two definitions uh we're gonna allow it they were both way better than yours. Both, the, one of them was four. You're not wrong. All right, scores one but to I'm one. Really mad that you're not right. You know. What All I mean? right. Like, Are we ready? Yes. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Mo. Let's go, Publice. <laughs> <laughs> so the way he spelt it, I was following the rules. Uh, Narbo. What? Narbo. Narbo. What does it mean? Go. This is a 60s <coughs> surfer term slang term. Uh-huh. She's good at this. Uh, For what? <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> I'm so curious if you're going to go with that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to help you. Okay, then you do it because I'm still thinking. It's a 60s slang term. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you just copy me. <laughs> okay, babe, go. Okay, it's a surfer term from the 60s, and narbo means like kind of like rad, but rough. Like, oh yeah, he wiped out real narbo. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's when you're shredding the gnar. No, on your it's board. not gnar, it's narbo. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't let me finish the damn sentence. It's when. He's shredding the gnar on the board, but you never finish your words. So it's like, shred, uh, I shredded the gnar. You, you just copied my answer. Yes, I know. I'm helping you out because you're wrong. Okay, what's your answer well, then? Well, now I want it to be your answer. <laughs> All narbo, right. Narbo. What time for you? Uh, I'm going to go, when did like when did uh, drag racing get really big? Like 50s? No. No. 70s? I mean, drag racing was big with like normal cars. Not like the drag racing cars you see today. Because I want to, I want to say it's like when you hit turbo. But Wait, so you're changing your meaning again? No, 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 no I he, never had a meaning. He I was just, just going back off money. Got it. She was like going in the. She started out really well and then went in the wrong direction. I had to bring her back. Okay, know? well, why don't you give uh, me your meaning? And so, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fifties. And uh-huh. it's when you're in a, a race 
and you just smoke someone, and then you just went like you Nar-bo. hit turbo. Narbo. You went narbo. You just hit narbo. <laughs> so, cause, so it's like you can go turbo, and or you, you, go, it, you, go, <laughs> you go narbo. narbo. Oh, he's going narbo. <laughs> it's like when you, when you used to drive your mom's van, and we used to go in a. Uh, what was what did you call it when you slammed on the gas and our heads would pin back? Nas. <laughs> no, it was a Star Wars term. Oh, light, light speed. speed. Light speed, yes. We used to go with light speed in David's van. But we'd go Narbo. But we'd, we'd go Narbo. That's actually All right, physically Dalton. impossible. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> neither one of you got it right? Or n- not even close? <laughs> not even close. Um, but, oh, wait, I, I wanted them to do their sentences. They did. They did when they were like trying to explain it. Okay. Well, I- I just wanted to hear it in like more of a surfer voice, but yeah. that's a personal thing. Oh, okay. Um, Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that really that got me. That got me. You go. Rod totally hit Narbo. Okay, you're terrible at that. Um, Narbo <laughs> means idiot, loser, or moron. It's a name, and it was timed in the '80s. Really, Narbo? But that what? Like, close. what is that word created from? Be quite like, Narbo. Like Nar. Nerd. Hey man, if you don't know, it's because you're a narbo. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You don't know narbos. You, you don't nar. It's still one to one. I want it to work. All right, one more, guys. This is gonna. This is the icing on the cake. Gosh, this is the it. fudge in the middle. This is the lava to the lightning. The tiebreaker. This is the bombs. Uh, I am out to lunch. I'll say it one more time. If you guys didn't hear me, I am out to lunch. While you think about it, Dalton, scroll down a little bit. For sure, David. I'm great at that. <laughs> do you see there's one more? No. Nope. Let's, let's, let's do a daily <laughs> double. Let's get two for one. Ice. All right. All right. All right. Out Ice. to lunch. Out to lunch. Okay. Is the probably true tiebreaker. And the second term is sorority squat. Oh, that was one of them. I thought that was a different. That was for like. Oh, you you need to click the link on that one. Oh, all right. Out to lunch is what is like code name for like tossing a salad. Like I'm out to lunch. Tossing a salad in itself being slang. Yes. So it's a double slang word, and tossing a salad. It's a risky guess. Okay. Meaning eating some. So you know what? Mm -hmm. Wait. So they're not answering the one I just gave them. They're answering. They're doing both. They're doing doing both. both. And sorority squat is when you're in a sorority and you have to build a pyramid but it's only you and one other person so you have to squat down oh so my. they stand on top of you with their hands like this yo that's so a totally a thing uh-huh okay um all right monique i feel confident about this one what was the first one? First one is i am out to lunch, out to lunch. that's from the 80s okay and that means you're high uh-huh come like, out to lunch bro like don't bother me i'm high i'm Fuck. out of this out of the she's so good realm. at this and then sorority squat originated you're still like, tied with her probably in the early 2000s to it's relevant now it's basically the pose sorority girls do when they're in a group and for whatever reason Damn it. they put their hands on their knees and I they squat pose. a little bit that way they can all be seen but they all do it so it just all looks like they're squatting under like a tree or something i it don't know like an umbrella cheerleaders usually put like the hand on the hip and they like bend one knee but the sorority squat is like they all bend a little bit uh-huh yeah Damn it. i don't know why they do that mic drop so Dalton, you want to give them the out to lunch tell yeah. tell them which one was right uh when someone says i am out to lunch they usually say like oh, i am out to lunch because they're crazy and not mentally aware <laughs> it's something so I, you say about other people yeah so i feel like or, or was, you say hey they're out to lunch i feel like monique was closer than i was um and this was originated yeah. in the 50s on college campuses okay huh. yes so if she didn't win off of that she definitely went, went off, off of sorority, sorority squad. squad she literally got it point for point i think you need to i need to make sure i'm giving you the same uh link. I, I have the definition no 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 uh I mean, I have. I also have seen many pictures of this. Scroll down. Scroll down to number four. This is the one that I wanted you to read. Uh, what it says when a person? No, it starts in many deep sounds. Oh, I see the numbers now. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> sorority squat. In many deep south 1950s colleges, uh, young girls trying to get into certain sororities were instructed to refrain from using all toilets and told to go to the woods or alleys to relieve themselves for one week. This was a tradition going back to the 19th century that in order to produce stronger and more self-reliant women capable of good problem solving in preparation for childbearing and a, and childbearing and proper etiquette for culinary clean, cleanliness when cooking family meals in the future. I st- uh, this is a this is a <laughs> this is a, a sentence. Um, I steer clear of Mary Lou for about a week. She's on a sorority squat right now. Patience is good thing. Patience is good though, Bubba. She got nice childbearing hips. <laughs> good God, <laughs> Jesus! So that's where sorority squat originated, and All now right. it's just literally just a weird way to take a picture. So yes. it used to be like hazing and now it's cutesy. So now like the paddles. winner of Slang Trivia with Matt Drum is not Matt Drum. <laughs> <It's Bo. laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I'm not very good at that game anyways. And now we get to go into our signature segment. Right. No, oh, okay. Are you joining in on this? Hell yeah. No. Oh, I was oh say, you got to go to dun, that dun, side. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I'm waiting for you to do it. Let's do yeah. it. Ready? One, two, three. Is it cannon, bro? <laughs> Matt, you know what? It hurts people on the other side too, right? It, it really does, and I listen to it every no, week. No, like you're kind of like you're an asshole. One and of these days, I'm going to pop off and beat the crap out of him on the podcast. And this week, we're doing a special edition of Is It Canon? The 2000s. This is we've, our first go at this one. We've been getting a lot of uh, new listener towns, and uh, as I've been going through them all, there's been some weird names in there. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, so it's Mysteries of Listener's Towns. And so we're going to find out which <laughs> listeners' towns are canon and which ones are fictional. Dang. Oh, shit. So you guys okay. will need your... Hearings. You guys will need your phones to keep track of your points. And we'll just do a couple rounds and see who wins at the end. Oh, yeah. I gotta I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna win. I can't go 0 for 2. Can someone keep my points for me? Nope. Fun facts of listeners' towns. Facts of the towns. So Monique's gonna be the one choosing these. Fun facts. Choosing these towns. No, I meant the cord is like right on yeah. the truck. I just don't want it to knock it over. And you guys, all right, I put on my grocery list. One point for guessing correctly about the town, and then an extra point for guessing either the state. Or the piece of media that the town is from, piece based of on your media. Yeah, it's so like if it's a fictional town. Oh, oh, oh where it's okay, from. Okay. So, for do instance, you need an example? Like Hogwarts, Harry Potter. Yes. Okay. Cool. Or uh, Wait, Los I wasn't Angeles, saying, I, I don't saying California. California. Yes. Yes. So there'll be you get two chances to get points. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Do you need a recap? No, oh, I know what I'm doing. So you can just pick from random and try not to create a pattern for them to, to, to go off of. I really hope you picked like something out of Shrek. Ready? Oh gosh, I love that. The I love first Shrek. town. First town. Illyria. Illyria. Okay, so what do I say now? So now you guys, you guys, you guys will vote first. Okay, hold on. Let, let's get the meanings of fiction and nonfiction down. Fiction means fake. Non-fiction yes. is uh, real. Is real. Yes, because uh, I get the same thing. I get the same thing. All uh, yeah, it's hard. Non makes me think that it's not real, but I always know that I think that, so I have to think the opposite. So, so real fiction. town or fake town? Ah, there we go. I'm gonna uh, put, a, I'm I'm, put a R. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go real town. Real town. Real town. Don real town. I'm going too? real for sure. What are you typing down? This I is thought, just to count your points. I you want to, oh no, <laughs> oh. you can just add up. You know. Illyria is a real town. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is a lot of typing for one, for one <laughs> question. So you say real? I say real. You say real? I say real. Monique? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a real town. Okay. It's yeah. a real town. Right, one point, one so, point for me. Okay. Do you guys want to try the one extra point? One point for Maddie fucking smokes. Do you uh, want to try the extra point? Yeah. What state is this from? Oh. Oh. Kansas City. Kansas City is a city. Damn it. <laughs> Kansas, big guy. Where's Kansas? Wait, that, that, that's the state. Kansas. 
Kansas City. I'm gonna go is with Alabama. Kansas. You're gonna go with Alabama? Yeah. Both of you are wrong. It's in Ohio. Really? It is. I was close. So okay. welcome. Illyria, Ohio. Yeah, welcome. To the pod. Welcome. Hi, Illyria, Ohio. Sorry, I thought you were in. All right, what's the score right now? Show the camera. One to one. One. <laughs> oh, nope, Dalton's in something. I'm in my notes. Oh. Yeah, that's half of my grocery list. I hope Dalton doesn't win because then we're going to have to wait for him to add up all of his points. All right, what's what next? What are you putting down? I'm just adding it in my calculator like a normal human. Oh. Are we ready? Yes. Let's do it. Let's get it together. Let's get it all together. Right? There we go. Hill Valley. Hill Valley. Are you? Why are you hiding your eyes? Yeah, why she had her eyes? Can I read them off your eyes? I don't want you to see where I'm looking. They don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, I have no idea. I can't see it. That's okay. I I appreciate the the dedication. All right, Hill Valley? Yes. I'm going to say... That's a town. Yeah, yeah, nonfiction. So real? Yep. Real? Yep. (laughs) Fake. No... Oi. There has to be a hill valley. For the purposes of what I've put down, no. <laughs> it's not. If it's, I, if, I, it's, I, if it's really I, out there, we don't know about it. They don't listen to it. They don't, drum and drummer. Okay, they don't listen right. to drum and drummer. Hill valley. Okay. Uh, so now the media. So I still have a chance to get a point. Yeah. You can still get a chance to get a point if you can guess what this is from. One Tree Hill. I, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I, like, I know someone, one person listening is, Hills yelling, have eyes. is yelling at the- at Hills the, have eyes thing you say hills have eyes yeah and you say one tree hill one tree hill we're both wrong you're both wrong okay it but we from, both could have been right it is from back to the future oh yeah i've never seen it is that one person rachel no it's natalie no oh, okay i've never I've, so oh, the score it. still is tell me about it the one score one. is still, still one to one, one. one, to one. i got one. mine and matthew score on my tra- cart, graph chart <laughs> chart graph what is this <laughs> is this a chart I have no idea <laughs> i don't know what this is <sighs> This is fun, man. How do you feel about this right this now? This is a good one. I like you this like one. this one? Yeah. Okay, good. I like that they're silently arguing to each other. I feel like... And I like that Monique, should be a little like, more Monique was like, okay, we're going to do Stars Hollow. Stars Hollow. Oh, I've heard this one. That's a real place. No. That's a real, real place? Not real. Not yeah, real. For sure. And you say fake? Yeah. All right. It is fake. <gasps> I've heard of this one before. Hold on. I need to add a point. You fucking fuck. What's it from, Matt? I feel like it's a, a fake Star Wars. Fucking hell. Do you have any guess, Dalton, as to what it's from? Where? Oh, what, what were we saying? What was it called again? It's from a video game. Stars what? Hollow. Stars. Mm. Oh, I know exactly what game this is from. Oh, it's an indie game. It's an indie game. What's that mass multiplayer game that John used to play? Oh, no. It's RuneScape? from Caroline. No. Caroline. Caroline. Coraline? Coraline. Okay. Hey, what's that? What's okay? You didn't have to answer me so rudely, by Sorry. the way. Sorry. I, I don't know. I can't remember. I I can't remember the name. But no it's, guess. It's, no All guess. right, Coraline. Dalton, you are wrong. <laughs> it is from Gilmore Girls. <laughs> oh! John probably watched that too, so I was right. So the score is two, two to one. Two to one. I'm winning, bro. Hold on. I'm gonna make that. We're gonna go first to five. First to five. All right. Let's go. Kill. This is stupid. All right. Give me enough chances. That'll be like a tiebreaker. Yeah. Fun fact. This is town. Fun fact. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> Fallen timber. Fallen timber. Shimmer me timber. I'm going to go with real because it sounds too ridiculous to even be fake. That's definitely a real place. Yeah. Real place? Yeah. yeah. You both say real? Yeah. 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 It's real. Yes. Aha, I won. I keep my lead. Okay. Uh, fallen timber. Where do they have a lot of wood? <laughs> I know where this that is from. That falls over. It's from Montana. Montana? Oh, yeah. that's a good guess. Dude, because there's trees everywhere. I'm going to go with... We go with Texas. Texas? It'd be cool Montana to have... Montana and like Texas. Forest. Pennsylvania. Really? Mm-hmm. Fallen Timber, Pennsylvania. Welcome oh. to the pod. Welcome. Welcome. I'm welcome sorry. I thought you were in uh, another country. Good old, good old Texas. Come sail away. Come sail away. Ready? Yep. Klamath Falls. Klamath. Klamath. Oh, that's a real place. No, I've no. I've heard no. of that. Are you thinking? I've of- heard of that. I've heard of that. 
I've definitely seen that somewhere. <laughs> thousand percent fake. <laughs> you saying fake? Thousand percent fake. South, I, wait, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you another one. Better than that. So it's South Dakota. Thousand percent fake. Okay. Fake. Fake. You say real. And from South Dakota. It's real. No, really? Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, right. real town. Dumb is it? Bitch. Is it in South Dakota? Okay, South Dakota. And ah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Montana. <laughs> <laughs> They have a lot of trees there. <laughs> it's Oregon. Oregon. Close. South Dakota's like right next to there. No. Not <laughs> even. <laughs> I had to retake that test three times. So. Klamath Falls, Oregon. Welcome to the pod. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm, I'm beating you, right? Or, or tied? Tied. What's the score? Uh, I have One, three. It's 3-3. Three, 3-3? Three. Three, three. Oh, my gosh. It's a nail biter. All right. Here's the next one. If he says Hogwarts, it's fake. Pentos. Pentos? Oh, Underneath it, <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with real. Pentos is real. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> oh, oh, I take it back. Windhelm. Windhelm. Oh, I like that. Uh, no, that that's that's not that's fake. But Windhelm that's is fake. fake as fuck. I know. I David Space gave it away. Fake, and okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You both say fake. Yeah. Okay. You say fake, Dalton. Yeah. Okay. It's fake. Okay. It is fake. Dalton goes first because I know exactly where this is from. Windhelm. It's from Skyrim. D- Matt? No, I need you to tell him that this is the final answer. He doesn't get to re-guess. Okay. Okay. Skyrim? Skyrim. Final answer? God of War. God of War, final answer? Yes. Ah, fuck me. Monique? It's Skyrim. Fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, my God! Oh, I love that fat car. <laughs> Damn it! I was so confident. Where, where Skyrim is that exactly? That's the first <laughs> city you end up. Back. No. Yes. Yes, it yes. is. Because if you go, if you go back, there's a bunch of bandits. Damn it! <laughs> did you? Did he win? You have five points. I do have five points. Dalton <laughs> wins. That was supposed to keep the tie because you. She said you both would very clearly would know what it was. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. On. Okay, hold on. But in God of War, with with. I know why you thought it was God of War. What is that? What is that place called? Lake of Nine. No. No, that's that's the. Which I think you're talking about the older God of War, uh, right? No, uh, no, no, Heinhelm or something Heinhelm. like that. Heinhelm, yes, yes. Or the, Nipple, the, the underworld. That's, that's the hell version, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about Helheim. Nipple, Helheim. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I can see why you went there. God yeah. damn it. I think Zelda has a similar one too. Something Helm. Wind Waker. Maybe. But just really know. quick to welcome some more cities yeah. because we didn't get give, to all of them. Give us the real ones. Um, Shanksville, Shanksville, oh, Shanksville, that's, Pennsylvania. That's yeah. fucking cool, dude. I want to go there. That's a cool name. Corvallis, Corvallis. Yeah, Oregon. Mechanicsburg, that's, Mechanicsburg. Oh Mitch God. would love that Are place. You fucking serious. Brandenburg, Brandon would love that In place. Kentucky, that's dope. Either that or Brandon would hate it. <laughs> and <laughs> and Fostoria, Ohio. <laughs> Fosterio. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And the last one, the very first one. Libertyville, wait. <laughs> Libertyville, Illinois, and Roy, Utah. Roy, Utah. Roy, Roy Utah. Utah. That sounds like a cool place. That sounds really chill. Roy, Utah. Sounds what sounds more chill? Roy, Utah, or Collegeville, Pennsylvania? Roy, Utah, for sure. Collegeville sounds like it just gets down. Collegeville sounds like a big frat house. Yeah. Well, welcome to all those listeners' towns. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, of listeners' towns. Thank you, of listeners' towns. Hopefully, we get more you, towns, towns and we can do this again. This was fun. I like this one. This one was fun. Uh, Don, what are you squaring up with this week? I'm squaring up with, like, you know, lifting weight. Um, I s- pinched my dick with the bar today. I saw it. And it hurt so bad. And Matthew, Matthew thought I, <laughs> Matthew thought I, uh, I hurt your knee? Hurt my knee. Yep. It was kind of funny, but I just very concerned. I just pinched the peepee. So, yeah. Matt, I mean David, you, what are you squaring up with this week? I'm squaring up with myself. Uh oh. I had uh, I don't know what the heck happened. I had lunch and it was like a really heavy lunch. Oh jeez. And so I just downhill. Just just destroyed you. Fell asleep at my oh. desk. Oh. <laughs> Not even like down or anything, just like sitting there staring at the screen, <laughs> but my eyes were closed. And I guess the owner of the shop, the owner of the company or something was heading out to the shop floor and my window is the one that faces. <laughs> so David's out the screen going, 
Yeah, so he like knocked on it and was like, "Good morning." <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like you can't really fix it. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Like it's like if you make a mistake on an assignment, you can do better on the next assignment, and people will forget about that. Yes, but like you fall asleep, and it's ne- like now yeah. you're the dude that fell asleep. Yeah, but your boss seems kind of cool, so I don't think he would was. Mind. Was he laughing? We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> He was, Good morning. Like, he was like smiling, but like, I don't know how much hidden like, rage was underneath. I, I think if Good you morning. Can, I think if he continues to catch you doing that, it'll be a problem. But if it's <laughs> yeah. just a one time thing, dude, like, you, you'll be fine. David just blames it on a heavy you pop a bang, dude. Dude, why why do you not have bangs like set in the, that desk like at all times? You need me to get you some from Costco? I'll buy you a pack. You okay. know what you can do? Yeah? You can't just. So when you get really tired. My aunt Michelle taught me this. She goes, when you get really tired and you don't want to fall asleep, you get your eyes and you do it like this for 10 seconds. You look like a completely different person. Let me see. <sighs> Hold on. I'm wide awake now. Hold on. You do look, you look very different. Do I look better or worse? You kind of look like you belong in Beetlejuice. Don't say it three times. You're going to regret that. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not down to play with that. Monique, what are you squaring up with this week? It's a secret. Okay. All right. Good. I know your secret. Was it, and I was agree it with how yours. stressed out you got earlier today? No, she's squared yeah. up with me because it's my birthday and she's super stressed out for whatever reason. I don't know yet. Uh, but yeah. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Okay. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Matt, hey, Matt. What's up? What's your woe due of the week? My woe due of the week no is one cares. that I was, David. All right. Kidding. Go ahead. My woe due of the week is that on my way home, there was, I was driving home and then there was all these cop cars that were just like, flying by me right and undercover cop cars undercover cop trucks like all these vehicles that i've never known were undercover cop cars right. <laughs> all by me i'm like what is going on and the freeway was packed so i freeway go was really bad today I, I go and then well first thing i thought was that Dalton got in a bad car accident so then i called dalton who didn't answer which then proceeded to confirm my suspicions I like to make him wonder. and so then i called my dad and Dalton had just got home turns out there was a murder that happened in like temecula and it had chased. It had gone its way up the freeway over in, in like r- right past our that area. Is such like a that's a pretty decent way, bro. But then like I then I turned into my grandparents because I just I like put on like the tel the televised chase and just watched the chase till it ran into a semi and then just got out. Yeah, crazy. crazy that's stuff. wild. Don, what's your woe, dude? Uh, my woe, dude, is um. I would say finishing up the the anime uh, Goblin uh, Slayer. It's really good, and I was surprised. I didn't think I was gonna like it, um, but it's it's one of the funnest, craziest. It's like what you want fantasy anime to be. It, it really hit a lot of points, and I, I I fell in love with that anime. So that's that definitely hit the top tier list. Now I'm trying to finish up Attack on Titan. Um, I I actually gave it a chance. I'm on like episode eleven now. Uh, and it's it's freaking amazing. So, nice. um, yeah, uh, I would definitely give it to uh, Goblin Slayer. Uh, David, what is your woe dude of the week? Uh, woe dude of the week is learning how simple it is, like how specific girls can get on other girls about like makeup and stuff. So Rachel and I are watching a season of The Bachelorette, and she's asking me what I think of The Bachelorette because she wants you know to get the male perspective or whatever. And she asked me about her face and she teaches me this whole thing about her eye lid, her eye skin between her lid and her eyebrow and how the fact that that skin is really thick means she doesn't have an eyelid. So she has to do extra makeup there for you to be able to see it. And like really? eye shape really determines how much you do your makeup. Um, Damn. It's this whole extra level that it's like. That I never I, know. It's like I woke up at six twenty six this morning and I left at six thirty one. So yeah. I don't Do you have to. Think <laughs> about that. I don't know, you have anything? Monique, what got you stoked this one week? One of the top surgeries Japanese people get is eyelid surgery. To get an eyelid, not or <laughs> remove an eyelid. So everyone has eyelids, but in a traditional sense of the way Japanese faces look, they have more fat in the upper eyelid region. So they get it removed so that they have a crease. Mm. Every country has like, you know, like top three 
reconstructs it reconstructive surgeries that they have in japan it's your eyelid surgery and a nose bridge surgery and other things but it's really popular to get either fat removed or fat injected hmm. into that area to enhance your eyes some people even get thread in like in and out of their skin and the, then the doctor pulls it up to get like a fox eye look a permanent fox eye look yeah it's pretty problematic but hey. yeah is it always like this yeah it looks like you're very what does like, a fox eye look like wind blown it's very like like if you Just were to like take that. your index yep, finger yep, yep, put it like up by yep. your eyebrow that one. and lift it hold that for the okay do it, or again, that. do it again hold do it again Imagine taking your index finger, putting it up by the tip of your eyebrow, the tail, and then pulling it up towards your scalp. That's kind of like a fox eye look. <laughs> maybe not do that. Let's yeah, maybe let's not, not do that. Let's not do it let's, like that. Okay. <laughs> like like up yeah, here. Yeah, this is no. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, <laughs> this is bad with uh, current <laughs> events. Uh-huh. Fox eye. <laughs> Matt's going to get his fucking cancer. That was I'm, his attempt at a fox <laughs> eye. I, I meant that in the most <laughs> genuine way of following instructions, <laughs> not <laughs> anything else. <laughs> <other than> <laughs> that. No, really. Uh, and like I said, it's really problematic right now because some... Japanese or Indonesian or you know people of Asian descent or some groups of people are taking it offensively because you are you know positioning Changing your the eyes eye shape. Eye shape, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're editing that out right if I can okay I, I please find a way cause yeah. that's bad I didn't mean it like that <laughs> I don't really know how you stretched your skin <laughs> that far. You look like a cartoon I got character. <laughs> Dalton, what gets you stoked this week? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's go with like... Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, oh, no. I was thinking about my grandpa and uh, how we used to put salt on snails and watch them <laughs> fucking disintegrate. <laughs> and when I think about it back then, it was a it was like a bonding moment. When I think about it now, it's like a terrible thing to think about because I would never want to do that to a snail now. I was thinking about that this week. I wasn't really stoked about it. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, what got you stoked this week? Uh, Matt, what got you stoked this week? I, I, I kind of wanted it. to go. I wanted to go last. Okay, Monique, what got you stoked this week? <laughs> so tomorrow is Matthew Drum's birthday. Hey, and it got me really stoked to. Uh, this is gonna sound so cheesy. I'm stoked to be his girlfriend and his partner in life, but it is even more stoking <laughs> that a lot of people have reached out to me and have asked me what you know what does matt like or should i get him a card or you know what can i do for him and he's not picky he doesn't want he's not like a big on receiving gifts or anything like that but just knowing that people want to be involved people want to stop by the house people want to see him Mm -hmm. or appreciate him make sure that they're at the gym when he's at the gym or you know if someone wants to get him a card you know, a lot of people are asking about him and it's it's really cool, t- you know, to be reminded that he's so loved by a lot of people. A lot of people look up to him and value him and he doesn't see that. He doesn't believe that. But uh, it's cool to, I guess, see it in real time and be able to share that with you. Yeah, go. Cool. Thank you. If you reached out, thank you so much. I love you guys. I'm stoked. Uh <laughs> 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 I'm stoked. He said he wanted to go last. David, what got you stoked this week? <laughs> I'm stoked that uh, this vaccine is going to be available to everyone. I'm stoked that I'm, we're making a lot more plans to see people again. Cool. And that's because everyone feels very comfortable now that people have been vaccinated or the yep. vaccination is very easy to get now. Yep. So uh, that road towards being around people a lot more and a lot yeah. more easily. Yeah, for sure. That's exciting. <sighs> Matt, what got you stoked this week? What got me stoked this week? 
<laughs> is that uh, David has an announcement that got me stoked this week. Uh, and him, Did I fall asleep at work? no, not oh. that. No, that, that is a great announcement. That, also. Uh, you got a new computer, you got a new setup. Yeah, dude. Getting ready to start doing some cool things. Dang. We tried this before, and it was just such a, a, a stress on me to have a portable setup. Yes, yeah. yes. And what, yeah. if you don't know what I'm talking about, are you cool with me saying this? Okay. Is uh, David and Rachel are going to start streaming. We'll have already Ooh. done the first one. It's tomorrow, Wednesday. Oh, okay. okay. So next Wednesday, I want... Or Sunday. Next Wednesday or Sunday. Or, th- or, th- or Thursday, Friday, Friday Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> no, so Wednesday, Sunday is your schedule? Yeah. Both or just one? Both. Okay. So every Wednesday and Sunday from now on, David and his beautiful girlfriend, They will Rachel, never miss a day. ...are going to be streaming. They're going to be streaming games that... Uh, you probably that played. you probably never played before. <laughs> <laughs> but it... But when you read their username, you might think it's aggressive, but it's meant in a nice. But tone. it's meant in a nice tone. So right. where? So our, our, the name is the the idea for the name was you've never played that loser. But Twitch doesn't let you put capitalization <laughs> in it, so it's just you've, you've never, never played, played that. that. <laughs> and Jesus. Uh, and cheese. Do a do a shameless plug, man. Where can our listeners go and? I just said the name twice. That's on, it on Twitch. You, uh, never, you never played that. Yeah, and uh, it'll be me and Rachel, You've mostly mostly Rachel. I'm, I'm excited for people to see how weird she is. That's the thing. is A lot of people come <laughs> see the apartment, and they assume it's <laughs> me who's, like, putting all this weird stuff up on the walls and, like, decorating and stuff, and that Rachel's the normal <laughs> one that got stuck with me. Oh, and no, I, I continually have to tell people, like, no, she's weird. I just found someone as In weird as me. In the best way possible. Yes. See, yes. but I didn't... I always... Whenever I say weird, I always mean it. In maybe, the best maybe it's way because I know... You like you guys and your dynamic, but I don't like when I walked in. I was like, anybody that really knows you both, like it's perfectly. It was both perfectly you two, and I don't even think it was like like favored one way or the other. Like I literally think it was like perfectly down the middle. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm also excited that everyone gets to see the abuse I get uh, from no. her. <laughs> hey, she yeah, does, that's she does what punch it is. a lot. It's not hard abuse. Like it doesn't hurt. You don't it's get more like it's more it. like loud like noises. But than it's the, punching. In, in, the intention <clears> behind <throat> it still hurts <clears throat> in here. Yeah. You know. The thought, uh, the thought hurts. But yeah, so if you want to come check it out, you don't absolutely. Have to do so it's right. gonna be twitch.tv slash. You've never played that. You've never played that. No, no you've never played no, it. No cap. No, uh, punctual. No, punctuation. no punctuation. It's as aggressive as it sounds. You've yeah. never played that. And we're playing Majora's Mask first. Yes. And then Ooh, Batman. Great game. Great game. So she's playing Batman. You're playing. She'll Majora's play Mask? Arkham Asylum, and then I'll play the Nintendo games, well, and I'll play Arkham probably Asylum. Donkey Kong Country at some point. Oh, yeah, it's so Ooh. fun, so fun, so fun. All right. Well, if you ever need any uh, special guests, I know. Two or three people that love to come hang out. Uh, all right, everybody. If you made it this far into the podcast, thank you so much for your time. Go ahead and leave us a five-star rating and a review wherever you are listening to this podcast. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we really do appreciate your view. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon in the corner. That way you know whenever we are uploading videos. And go ahead and follow us on all of our social media platforms at Drum Podcast. If you'd like to send in some Fan mail, it's going to be uh, drum and drummer podcast at gmail.com. Who sent us that question? Ah, uh, yeah, who did send us that question? I can't I'll remember. I'll look it up while you name. keep going. Nope. Uh, Sean H. Shouty Towdy, Sean H. Thank you so much for the, uh, the question about burping and getting that on camera. Uh, but as always, everybody stay safe, and we'll see you guys next week. Until then, I'm Drum. And I'm Drummer. Stay safe. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Seven times five, thirty-five, plus five, forty, plus five, forty-five, plus two, forty-seven, plus. Are you done? <laughs> just do it. No, 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 just, just finish it. Just finish. My, I'm gonna lose my fucking number, <laughs> Yo, finish it.